Hi friends, it's Terry Stewart, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Welcome to this vlog hop featuring scraps. Everybody has scraps, so it's time to use them up and make a card. So let's get started. My card uses scraps of Pear Pizzazz and Basic White with a base of a thick white cardstock and soft seafoam. I'm using the Sweet Strawberry set. This flower and leaf image along with the thank you sentiment. So this is a real quick and easy card. So let's get started. So I have a piece of thick white cardstock. It's a half a sheet and scored in half. And then a the first layer of cardstock is soft sea foam. The imperial measurements are four by five and a quarter. For our metric folks, that first lay, layer is 10 by 14.4 centimeters. And then of course, I have these scraps of pear pizzazz. I have several pear pizzazz and with white um, scraps. And these are just usually laid left over from when I cut cardstock to uh, the first layer. I'll take my card base and fold that uh, along the score line and burnish it and set that aside. Now here's my card front and I'm gonna use two pieces of my white scraps and two pieces of my pear pizzazz. And I have several here so I can make multiple cards. And the first Thing I'm going to do is glue these pieces down. And I'm using my grid paper so that I can keep these um, scraps even. And I'm going to put it about there. That looks a little, must be the next down. It doesn't really matter whether you use the imperial or the metric side of your grid paper. All you want is your your strips to be even, and I'm gonna dry fit them right now for the, adhering them. So get the first one, as long as you're working with um, the same with scraps that are been cut straight and not on a diagonal, this, this um, technique will work. So I'm going to put some, lay my strip down here to see how far over I'm going to put my glue. And I'll trim off any excess. So with my base even on the grid, and I'll put it down there, and then just make sure that it's uh, straight across. And then this. Glue does give you a little bit of wiggle room. And put my next layer on. And then just keep putting the layers on and butting them up to the previous layer. I'm just alternating um, cardstock. Then my final piece. And I use my scrap saw.
And I'll turn it over and with my snips, I'll trim those edges. And same with the other side. And with my memento ink and my floral and leaf image, I'll ink that up. And place it, center it, make sure that it's across all four of the cardstock scraps. And then my thank you sentiment, I'll ink that up. And I'm going to center that at the bottom, right below that image. And then while I have my ink out and my card base, I'm going to also use the floral and leaf image again. And I'll put this on the inside. Can can also be carried over onto the envelope. With my liquid glue, I can adhere my card front. There you have a quick and easy card using up scraps. Don't forget to hop to the next participant so you can see more projects using scraps. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember, stamping is fun. Bye.